I'm in a bottomless pit till the surface surfing. I lived a thousand lives, but I'm still searching. You got this, guys. You think I'm gone too much? Well, I think I suit ya. You say I'm in my mind too much? Well, I know that suits ya. I think uh, Young Lean has a lane, and. He's yeah. executing it well. Eyes dropping, red bottom sky. Eyes on my feet, I keep slipping. And I think that like that lane isn't initially what I really enjoy. Neither. But I can see it, yeah. hear it, appreciate it, and, and see people it. that people that would want this lane. He's executing it to a fucking scene. Absolutely. Eyes dropping, red bottom sky. Look like she know I. Like a light, yo. Slept through the flight. Yo. You know, I don't think I've listened to a single Young Lean track in my life. <laughs> you know? So I'm um, open. I don't know what I'm about to expect. I know there's a lot of Youngs out there. Is this a good Young, a bad Young, a middle ground Young? Um, in my opinion, well, that's he's still figuring himself out. Okay, well, and I'll also the on. fact that the first time this man appeared, I think he was 16. So and, he, uh, he just appeared out of like like the, the cause chasm he, he of space on, on the early trap waves. Think about when Little B was coming to fruition. Maybe a little after that. Um, and I think a lot of his early it's music the base was god right there. Well, yeah, I think a lot of his early music was really really bad. But I think because of a his attitude or the way he carried his vocals and his beats were kind of like his production was a big point to it. But I wasn't a big fan of him then, but his last album they put out, I listened to it, and he developed his sound a lot more. He was saying a lot more. He focused a lot more, and like he just he just grown a lot. I, I I don't think it was by any means amazing, but I was really impressed with the growth through his music. Okay. And I, I kind of relate that to a few other artists. Like I find that people that you see, you go from not really liking all to seeing growth. Like I love kind of watching them because they have a lot of potential. So you might we might see something here. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. We got Random. Young Lean's new track called Happy Feet with this music video. It's a beautiful, majestic horse. This is going to be some majestic shit right here. I'm Alexander Sandalis, a.k.a. Sandy Sand. Um, look at me, fool. It's good. It's a producer tag. Oh, uh, that's my style. Rattles, plays a little bit. Yeah, go right there. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Watch this horse is going to start singing. This horse is going to start singing. <laughs> Just like that. Nice visuals. I be dreaming for her very late nights like the cemetery walking there. That's what he looks like. Yeah, he's a grown man. visuals yeah that, that was the highlight for me where they they went to some like dilapidated kind of area yeah it's kind of like down. a farm area like with the, the house and they kind of like just got all the beautiful pictures of certain shots uh, besides that honest honestly really that was really distracting me from the content of his of his lyricism and uh, because of how hazy and relaxed and lazy and it was the young lean that's his style right <laughs> But um, I feel like a lot of people are gonna really love this type of music just to, just to get high too and just chill out, fucking look at the sky and chill. I think I did pick up a line in this track about like when he said happy feet, like happy is not like what I am in a way. So it's kind of like I didn't quite pick it up, but I think he was kind of like 
maybe talking about like trying to get to that sort of stage or that mind frame, but it's just not who he is. But it could be completely off the road. Well, feel free to hit the lyrics. Mate, that ain't my job. You know me and lyrics. <laughs> you know that ain't my job. But um, once again, like the reason I said I was checking out this track is because I, like I said, this last album, I saw a lot of growth. I saw a lot of difference. Like I didn't necessarily love it, but I enjoyed a lot about it. And I get exactly the same here. He's tackling a lot of sort of, like the guitar in this track and the background is really nice. Is um, even like still with his vocals, it still has his his flavor and his style where he's like a little kind of off kilter, real like sort of uh, relaxed, a bit nasally, and uh, I think it really works here. I I don't know if this is going to be a body of work that I'll love again, but he's still growing, and I think there's a lot to love from this track with his style. And he's definitely developing to, developing into an artist that I can see myself listening to a lot. So yeah, lot lots of fucking love. I think young, young Lean fans would be... Diamonds dance like happy feet, but happy ain't my set. Yeah, that's what I thought. Diamonds dance like happy feet. Happy, obviously, happy feet's the movie. Mm -hmm. um, but happy ain't my set. Young Lean's crew and his cult-like fans are known as sad boys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's sad boys. That's what That was That was um his crew that he sort of got famous with, the sad boys. Sad, sad boys steal your shit, then we hop, hop up on a jet. I'm a silver worm. I hop out the earth, eat my meds. I am Lucifer. My universe won't let me rest. Lucifer being like the devil. Mm. And meds, like hence the, the drug-fueled uh, production and music that they do. Nice. I think uh, Young Lean has a lane and... He's, he's executing it well. I think that I think that's that's a perfectly said. I think that like that lane isn't initially what I really enjoy. Neither. But I can see it, yeah. hear it, appreciate it, and, and see people it. that people that would want this lane. He's executing it to a fucking team. Absolutely. And I think that's that's our job as kind of reviewers. You know, we're just fucking two guys. But at the mm. same time, we're like we want to do a good job, right? Exactly. We can notice good music, but we don't necessarily have to enjoy it. If Absolutely. It's not something that we like. We don't want to feel forced to enjoy something that, we, but we can appreciate yeah. when it's good. So we're stepping outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And trying to see from your perspective. So we hope that's valuable, you know. If, if that is valuable, yeah. please make sure to subscribe and unsubscribe at the same time. <laughs> and I hope you uh, enjoy us entering another territory of uh, hip-hop that we don't really, don't really know too much about. Yeah. Well, Jungle Beats. Mm -hmm. New Jungle Peeps. And Together. And this is one of the most loveliest hands you'll see. What? See how there's no ring on there? That's right, motherfuckers. I need a sugar... Sugar mama, sugar daddy, <laughs> sugar fucking wardrobe, sugar fucking alien, I don't give a fuck, just give me, give me that shit.